Natasha Cosmic Empress. Does that sound familiar somehow? Hopefully all of you watching are positively oriented souls. We have worked with many different souls, blueprinters. We're both blueprint deliverers. We both come from the parallel dimensions. We have both incarnated in many planets. Negative soul groups are inherently negative. That means they are born, they are created with a different divine soul blueprint that is designed to receive energy from others. The Draconians. Is when they came through into this galaxy, they went through a portal that had them lose all their powers. That's why I feel it's very relevant because today a lot of souls living on this planet incarnated, some of you are truly affected by this negative soul group. So we went on this journey to find out, to channel this information from the Akashic Records together. The Draconians come from a parallel dimension. Alpha Draconis is a place where the Draconian soul group, they were dropped. They were brought there from, from a parallel dimension. And what happened with the Draconians, and this is what I saw, this is what I, the, the knowing came in. The Draconians are dragon beings that turned negative by choice. And then they evolved as a whole soul group of negative dragon beings. And because they turned negative, they lost their wings. So as they built their civilization, and after many hundreds of thousands of years, they were able to develop technology again. And there are positively oriented souls that are dragons. Hmm? An angel that turned negative and lost his wings, all right? That sounds kind of biblical. So this is a little bit going in that direction. That's a little bit similar. So they just look for other beings that are like, I guess we are a little bit like animals to them that are, you know, inferior and that's how they get their food source and they're masters of deception, the draconians. They can absolutely shapeshift, they can deceive, they can put on shields. When I went in with Sarah, my friend, when we journeyed to Alpha Draconis, we actually saw that planet and what it looked like. Okay, so, like I said, it's about half the size of planet Earth. It's warm, it's, and it's pretty arid. It's arid and dry. And what I saw was that there were concentration camps, there were buildings um, of other soul groups that they had brought physically to keep them and to draw energy from them. That's what they did. And all over the planet, they had different buildings and enclosures where they had cap captives from other planets, other highly conscious sentient beings that they kept to feed off their energy. 